Hello, uh, this call is being recorded for quality purposes. Um, I called last night, uh, two nights ago, um, there was some uh, men claiming to be sheriff's deputies at my house um, in the evening. And um, I called the, uh, the dispatch last night and they said they had no record of it. And I'm trying to um, figure out. Um, okay. What's the address? Uh, 2158 Seneca Road, Lawton's. That's who I'm speaking with? Badge 929. Badge 929, thank you. Yeah, it looks like uh, patrols were there to, to speak with you. Are you Christopher? Yes. On the 24th? Um, whatever it was, Tuesday evening. Yeah, today's the 26th, so two days ago, 24th. Around 8, 8 o'clock or so? Yeah, it was in the evening, it was dark. And uh, they were creeping around my yard. You know, they, they I guess they parked down the street. They didn't announce themselves. Um, they wouldn't say who they were. They didn't have flashlights or anything. It was really creepy. And um, I'd like to know who those men were, because uh, the, the woman on uh, dispatcher nine two seven said um, that she had no record of them even been, having been there. Okay. So I want to know what this is about. Yeah, I want to know what this is about. I can have a supervisor give me a call or I can have one more stop over if you'd like. Uh, no, I wouldn't like that. I would just like to know um, the, the names um, of, of those men and who they were for, um, for starters and um, and their badge numbers. Okay. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're, they're claiming to have a warrant. They don't have one. You know, the, um, this is a problem. I, I hope this isn't retaliation for them because I put in a complaint and a FOIA request. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I can hear your name, the Yeah, okay. Because I don't even know how many there were. There, there was one that I was talking with, but I couldn't see him because it was dark and he didn't have a flashlight. And um, and but I saw these two other ones like um, hiding around in the trees in the front there. And um, my roommate said saw one around in the back. And um, yeah, this is a problem. But, um, you know claiming to have a warrant, um, yeah, but they, but they won't show it, you know, and then, uh, they say, you know, Scary said there, there's no record of it, the woman told me last night, and then, then we got disconnected on the call, but I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this, and, um, I don't appreciate men with guns coming to my house, um, you know, at night, you know, that's, that doesn't seem like doing official business. Supervisor, um, if you could just give me his name and a phone number, what's a good time to contact him? Is it Lieutenant Lewick? Because I, I did want to know who made the order too for the, those men to come over there, um, claiming to have a warrant, not having one. Uh, well, it does show you have a warrant, so it does. Just say no. Well, I have, but you know, I need to see that warrant because, um, you know, the uh, agents of the sheriff's office have kicked my door in in June. And I, I still haven't seen that warrant. They say that warrant, they kicked my door on, you know, they, they brutalized me. And, and, um, you know, I was in jail and um, I haven't got a shred of paperwork from that. And here we go again, they're pretending to have a warrant coming to my house with, with guns. This is a big problem. You know, so I want to know who gave the order. Where's that warrant? I need to see that warrant. I don't believe there is a warrant. Right, well, you know? I can give it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so the lieutenant that was there was uh, Lieutenant Lazarczyk. Oh, he was there. Yep. Tell Lazarus, like, what's his badge number? L25. L25? Alright, who else was there? Uh, Deputy Reed, badge 94. Deputy Reed, badge 94. Okay. And Deputy Donnie, 374. Yeah, that's it? Yep. How many cars are there? Do you have the car numbers? Uh, that would have that would have been, I don't have the car numbers. Uh, that would have been, uh, probably all driver own cars, so three. Who, who, gave, who gave the order? Um, the lieutenant? Uh, yes, the lieutenant, since he was the, uh, supervisor at night. 
Okay. So why did they not have a warrant when they're claiming to have one? I'm going to have to ask you now, is that? Well, they need to present that warrant. warrant. They're, if they're coming to, um, you know, to execute a warrant, they need to, to have that warrant. They don't, they don't carry hard copies on the road. Well, they weren't on the road. They were at my house. I mean, I don't the office, they don't, they don't carry all the warrants in their cars. They have hundreds and hundreds of warrants. Well, they, they, you know, they, if they came there saying they have a warrant, they need to bring that warrant. That's the only, you know, that... That's what gives off, you know, they're, they're saying that they, uh, they have the right to trespass against me, you know, and make threats and stuff. That, you know, that's based on the on the, the existence of that warrant. And they need to present okay. that warrant. Well, like I said, I can, I can have supervisor give me a call if you'd like. I'll call him. Just go ahead. Um, hey, give me his phone number. And um, what's a good time to call him? And another thing is that warrant thing online. Uh, the warrant thing online from the sheriff's office. I checked that. And there's no warrant. Um. It doesn't say that I have a warrant on there. Yeah, they don't. I don't think they put them all on there. I'm not sure though. So we'll get it. Uh, um, this, this number here is a good number to get a hold of supervisor. I just don't know what time he's in the office. They, they come in and out because they're out patrolling also. Uh, he works at night or during the day? Yeah, at night, yep. 6 And uh, who do I got to talk to about, you know, get this this other warrant? You know, like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll show it to you. Uh, no, those guys, they said it'll be on the paperwork, asshole, and I asked them what their names and badge numbers were. And um, I still haven't gotten any paperwork concerning that. You know? I don't know. Uh, that works to be honest with you, sir. Um, you don't have to speak to the supervisor on that. Um, yeah, I did. Um, before I dispatch that at downtown, so we don't, we don't deal with that stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm just trying to get all the information I can, you know, um, so I can um, I understand. figure out how to proceed here. You know, um, I need to see those warrants. And, um... You know, I, 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 I hope this isn't retaliation for putting in a complaint because, uh, you know, I, I had no choice. And the FOIA request, um, you know, I haven't gotten, um, gotten responsive documents from those either. So um, I don't know if this is retaliatory. They didn't have a warrant. They were in the dark lurking in the shadows, you know. Um, I don't understand. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. I can't, I can't answer those questions. Yeah, really, you, you, you can understand. You can understand. You can understand my concern, all right? No, I get it, yeah, yeah I get it, yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, if you can give me that guy's number, um, name, number, and, um, and what shift he works, I guess. Yeah, it's, uh, 86PS6A, and, uh, again, it's the same number you just called, 716-858-2903. Oh, okay. 68 to 6 Yeah, no, like I said, don't they, they're, they're in, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? You said 6 to... A.M. to 6 p.m.? No. Oh, so no. 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, okay. Night shift. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Have a good one. All right. Have a good night.